Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, you know, I was not going to do any cooking uh, this weekend. We just got back from a fabulous cruise on Thursday uh, down to Cozumel and Progresso with a bunch of our family members. My first cruise ever. We had a fantastic time. I can't wait to go back again. I figured since I was back here, I was just going to veg out the rest of the week and start cooking next week. However, you know how I, how I am. I have got to cook whenever I get the opportunity. And it's 85 degrees outside, it's nice and sunny. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. So I figured I'd pull the old PBC out and do some chicken. I hadn't done any chicken on the PBC yet. Not that I can remember anyway. So anyway, I went to the store and uh, they had some lead quarters on sale. So I picked up a pack of lead quarters. So I got four lead quarters here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and season these bad boys up and throw them on the PVC and see what we get. Now the seasoning that we're going to be using is a Brazilian rub. Now I went down to this place downtown that I've been dying to go to. It's a spice shop. It's called uh, Crystal and Spice Shop and uh, it's down in Belleville, downtown Belleville. They have hundreds upon hundreds of freshly ground spices, man. I got a chance to smell everything from orange, uh, an orange peel, kind of like a lemon peel, a smoked paprika with some uh, hot chipotle in it, uh, some farm car uh, coffee, a uh, farm coffee rub. Uh, I mean, all type of stuff down there. So uh, we're gonna be going down there periodically to get some fresh seasonings and spices to to make our homemade rubs and things of that nature. So, um, so, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll put the contact information down there. They have a website if you want to go on the website and see what they have. It's uh, being reworked right now, but hey, check those guys out when you get an opportunity. Okay. All right, so we got our lead quarters here. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick prep work on these bad boys. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, Douse them down with a little olive oil. We're gonna sprinkle them with some Brazilian rub. We're gonna get the PVC fired up outside. And uh, I think for wood today, I think we're gonna be using, uh, we're gonna try some orange wood that we got from Amazon. Um, still got a box of that stuff and I'll put a link out there for you. So hey, hang back, watch this short prep work, watch this toss on the PVC and we'll see exactly what we get. So hey, don't go nowhere.
taking our lead quarters off of the uh, smoker. Smells fantastic. They got a beautiful color to them. I love all the herbs and the spices from the Brazilian uh, rub that we use. It smells fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a close-up look at these lead quarters. All right, guys. So as you can see, they got uh, you can see the herbs and spices on here. They got a great color to them. I love the way the room smells. We cook these lead quarters to a temperature of 183 degrees. I want to make sure that the chicken was done. Um, and of course, we were shooting for getting sort of crispy skin, but I'm not sure if we achieved that mark. But they look fantastic. So let's go ahead and uh, cut into them and have a taste test. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut into our, our leg quarters here. I got my 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 knife here. Well, what do you call it? Cleaver, whatever. I gotta tell you, I bought this cleaver here during the um, Black Friday sale uh, last year, and because uh, I just want to try it out. It was like a thirty forty dollar knife. I wanted something kind of heavy, and um, so I picked it up. It was on sale for like seven bucks. So I picked this up. It's called the. Uh, I mark who I M A R K U. That's the brand name. And I gotta say, I've been very happy with this. It's maintained its sharpness for quite some time. I use it for cutting through bone and everything. And so uh, my wife said I use it too much, but uh, I do like this knife. This knife is uh, great. So for a guy with big hands and uh, and it's got a little weight to it, so and it tends to cut through stuff pretty easily. So so let's go ahead and cut into this and uh, and see what we got here. Right. Well, the meat looks real good. Looks clear. No pink. The juices are clear. Smells fantastic. So let's go ahead and have a taste test. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off. All right. The meat is really juicy, but of course, dark meat does maintain its its juiciness. Okay. All right, so let's have a taste. That smells fantastic, very hot. Yeah, that tastes good. I like the way that Brazilian flavor tastes. A lot of it is, of course, on the skin, so next time I'll remove the skin and then add the seasoning on then. So let's try a little bit with the skin on. Okay, so what I can say about the Brazilian rub, it has a nice, heat to it. I mean, my whole tongue is like uh, somewhat on fire. It's tingling and going on. It tastes very good. I can taste the herbs. I can taste the spices. Uh, I can taste the smoke from the PVC and from the, um, from the wood and the charcoal. But the one thing that I probably would add to this, and you can if you want, don't want to, can if you want to, is I would have added a little bit of salt to the base here. So maybe next time we use the Brazilian rub, we use a base of uh, of kosher salt, light kosher salt, and then uh, and then put the Brazilian rub on it. But the Brazilian rub has a nice heat to it, man. I mean, it tastes very, very good, man. Let me go ahead and um, take another bite of this. Oh, yeah, it's got some kick to it, but it still needs a little bit of salt. So. I think next time I buy a pack of the Brazilian rub from the uh, from the little spice shop, then um, I might mix it with a little bit of kosher salt just to give it a little bit of salt flavor to it. But um, it, it's really it really burns very well. So matter of fact, the burn may be a little overpowering to the rest of the flavors. So, but um, maybe I put too much on. I don't know. But to me, you can never put on too much rub unless you overly salt. Uh, a piece of meat so but uh I do like the way it tastes so those are the little changes that I would probably make to it well that's all we have time for today I want to thank you guys for joining us today um like I said I got this Brazilian uh, rub from a place called Crystal and Spice Shop down in Belleville Illinois I'll put the uh, website link so you guys can check them out and you may be able to order some stuff from them if you're interested uh, also, if you're interested in a PVC, a pit barrel cooker, I'll put the contact information down in the bottom of the description uh, block. 
Once again, the PVC is a fantastic cooking device. It's a great smoker. Um, just hang your food in there or put it on the uh, grates and uh, let it do its, its thing. I mean, uh, it, this, this cooked uh, in about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours uh, because we were cooking to a certain temp. Uh, we wanted to get over 165, over 170. We took it all the way up to 183 degrees uh, because I wanted to make sure the chicken was done. But hey, uh, with that, I am going to uh, give away a couple packs of this Brazilian rub that we got from the uh, shop. I'll go back. I'll go back next weekend and pick up two or three of the sample packs that we purchased, and. Um, and uh, send it out to you guys. So if you're interested in trying the Brazilian rub, uh, just put down the, at the bottom uh, a, a Brazilian rub, baby, and uh, I know you want to enter the contest, and then we will pull in about a week, and I'll go ahead and send that uh, rub out to you guys, okay? But other than that, hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, I'll put the link for this knife here also if you're interested in checking it out. It's not a paid advertisement. I just thought it was pretty cool. Hey, as always, and we'll see you guys around the smoker.